In tonight's Health Watch Now, there could be a fascinating new way of detecting cancer. It's a breath test that researchers hope can detect multiple cancers. Dr. Max Gomez is here now to tell us about the cancer breathalyzer. It may look like another day at the trainers. Check. But at Medical Mutts, these dogs are using their noses to learn how to alert humans to what ails them. People have never thought that dogs could smell molecules that relates to cancer. Dogs have hundreds of millions of scent receptors, and here they learn to use them to detect things like blood sugar levels and diabetics, anxiety episodes, upcoming seizures, and recent studies show that dogs seem to be able to smell certain odors in the urine of prostate cancer patients. Not that surprising to lung cancer expert Dr. Nicholas Rose. We're metabolizing a lot of things, making we're breaking it down, and some of this, of course, gets released in our urine and our stool, but a lot of it actually gets released in our breath. That's what British company Owlstone is trying to prove. They've developed something they call a breath biopsy. And like a breathalyzer test, we can pick up stuff about what's going on in your body in your breath. A patient breathes into a special device for 10 minutes to trap metabolism byproducts called volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. Those trapped VOCs are analyzed in the Owlstone lab, looking for subtle VOC differences that form a kind of cancer fingerprint. The hope is very early cancer detection. A lot of patients present to my clinic with advanced disease, and unfortunately, we're already behind the ball then. So um, the, the earlier we can find these diseases, the more likely we are to cure them. Alston has begun a clinical trial in the U.K. on 1,500 patients, first looking for stomach and esophageal cancers, and then expanding to include patients with prostate, kidney, bladder, and pancreatic cancers. Now, this kind of clinical trial is actually complicated because you have to show that the results are reproducible and that when the test shows no cancer, there really isn't any. And when it's positive, there actually is cancer. In other words, few false positives and false negatives. And another version of this is what people are calling liquid biopsies, looking for similar sorts of chemicals or compounds in the blood as early markers as mm -hmm. well. So probably a combination of the breathalyzer and the liquid biopsy is what's going to really make a difference in terms of early cancer detection. Well, all in the works. Stay tuned. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Max.